We're back. I'm Casey. I am Crystal. The food and wine experts at Manhattan Beach Lodge. So sad to say, we know we know summer is over. But it was an amazing summer. It was incredible. And we are so thankful for the patrons, the events, everything was so much fun. The winos. The winos. <laughs> Our winos. Um, we had such an amazing um, following the summer. I can't thank our people enough. We had people that came to not one, two, but maybe three and even four events this summer. It was our best year, I think, today. It was incredible. You know, so, I mean, thank you so much to everyone. And we are so excited for next year because it's like every year, Casey and I are like, what are we going to do next year? <laughs> How are we going to make this different? And you guys are kind of like, our source of, of how we kind of like figure out what we're gonna do. So thank you so much and absolutely. But <laughs> we are excited to announce that we have figured out our supplier for our fall, fall winter winter wine dinner, and we've decided on Julian Fayard. So he is the winemaker for his own private label and also other wineries, but um, his private label and also Covert Estates. When I was out in Napa a couple years ago, I visited Covert and that's how I became familiar with uh, Julian Fayard and that's how we kind of decided on him for this dinner. You know, like every year Casey and I are kind of like figuring out like how we do things differently and we're like California and here and there and all the things and, and where do we go and how do we come up with these things but it was perfect it, I mean, was, it was it was it was an idea of a winemaker that is something different that we've yeah. never done so Emily um, Floyd who um, works for um, Julian sent us these these wines, which we drank tonight. <laughs> All of the wines. <laughs> As you guys know from our videos, we have a tendency to drink this wine. <laughs> and um, we decided on the menu tonight. You know, we, we sat down, we, we went through these, and we decided on what we were going to do and how we were going to come up with the menu. And we're going to tell you about it tonight. I'm so tell you what the, these wines are. I, know what, I mean, uh, I, I had never heard or tasted covert wine. Uh, before, but but I told wow. him about it. It is it is amazing. So uh, let's talk about it. Let's let's talk about it. Let's so uh, starting off with uh, well, coming back, uh, we will have a social hour. Yeah, so with we'll have, nothing that's here, we're gonna have some prosecco. Yeah. So you, you know, just when you get here, we're gonna give you some prosecco or some bubbles to like hang out. Yeah, and then we'll we'll go into the first of course, course uh, which is unlike. The uh, Wino Vinos. This will be a course dinner. Mm -hmm. This will be full blown. Yeah, all the things. Yeah, multiple courses and larger courses where you, you will uh, you'll you'll be leaving happy. Um, so the well, first they're course. Always happy, but this is this is like the big baby. Those are the yeah. little babies. Um, come with an empty stomach. So the first course is our rosé. Their rosé, not ours. Oh, it feels like Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be starting off with the rosé and we'll be uh, going with a microgreen salad with uh, roasted peaches, goat cheese, I'm going to be doing a little uh, white balsamic and truffle vinaigrette. Um, and? Um, the uh, uh, pork belly and cr uh, croutons. <laughs> croutons, yes. <laughs> Sorry, we just got this menu done. 15 minutes ago, Literally, after tasting all the yeah. wines. So and I said to Casey, I was like, these ingredients we've talked about a ton. Yeah, right? we, we like, always do. We, and we, every time we have wine dinners, we have many ingredients that we go back and forth mm -hmm. on, and some of them are dumped, and mm -hmm. some of them are good. Or like, but, like one ingredient we say yes, no, and we scratch, and then we go back to, and whatever, and I'm like, yeah. the roasted peaches, you know? Yeah, and and truffle, peaches, yeah. Casey hates, but I love, you know? And, yeah. Even though he hates it, he'll even like put it in his stuff. And like, so I'm so impressed with that. And like, he'll throw it in things because he knows it's good. Yeah. But the pork belly croutons, yeah. I'm like, I'm like sitting here, like talking to him about this menu. And I'm like visualizing this. <laughs> <laughs> These little like baby things. Like, okay. So second, right, second course, course, 
will be the Sau Blanc. Which is a California Sau Blanc. It blew my mind. A I'm a, I, I am a Chardonnay guy. I When I tasted the Sau Blanc, I... I, I all said, day. Yeah. All day Chardonnay. This will not remind you of a Sauvignon Blanc. This will remind you of more of a Chardonnay. It is a California-driven Sauvignon Blanc. It has that behind it. So we said seafood all day. 100%. So we're going to do... I'm going to do with... I'll be honest, she gives me ideas for a lot of our menu items and our We Know Vino, our wine dinner menu items. She's a genius when it comes to food and wine pairings. Um, so we're going to do a Parmesan risotto. Um, that's a little kale in there so people feel healthy. <laughs> or bougie. <laughs> or bougie. <laughs> so uh, the, the seafood yeah. trifecta in there, scallops, um, crab, and then finish it with langostino. Yeah. A little lemon beurre blanc, put a lemon twist on there so it looks sexy. Um, yeah. Then it's, it's going to be an incredible yeah. course. Um, third course. No, intermezzo. Oh, We're intermezzo. We're a palate cleanser yes. just because we feel like going from these really crisp whites into these reds. We the have reds to are so palette. big and bold, yeah. and the, the first the first word that we're going into is peppery, and um, it's just huge compared yeah. to. Uh, the saw block. Hey, right. You gotta have it in the intermezzo to to cleanse your palate. The Colbert Cabernet Sauv, um, Sauvignon Blanc, or not Sauvignon Blanc, <laughs> Sauvignon Cabernet. Cab, Cab Sauv. <laughs> Cab Sauv. I'm sorry, I have had some wine. <laughs> um, anyways, the Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, this is really peppery. It has so much behind it. We went back and forth between the Julian's um, Cabernet Sauvignon and this one. We were like- And the Pinot Noir. And the Pinot Noir. We were like, wow, do we do? Oh gosh. We decided on this one. And part of that was because we wanted to do a smoked dog. Yeah. We felt like it paired so well with this wine. Um, and we are going back in, in, in so many different types of mm -hmm. game between bison, elk. Um, we talked we, about venison. We, we talked about, talked so about venison, things. but we, we settled on duck because uh, we've done it so well in the past. The smoked up uh, with a cranberry chutney. We're gonna do a uh, gorgonzola polenta, um, which props to Matias. Uh, suggested. And, and hello, my heart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're we're gonna roll with that, and it is gonna be just a great, great, great pairing. Um, and a cranberry chutney. Remember, you talked about doing that. Are you gonna do that? Yeah, the yeah. cranberry chutney, yeah. absolutely. Um, the last course. The last course. Okay. So, so this excited. is this is the course, you guys. This is this is the wine that I was like so excited about. I went to Casey and I said, I wanna do this dinner for this wine. I wanna do this dinner so we can do this wine and if we can make this happen, it'll make me so excited just to bring this wine to Manhattan and bring it to people in Cross Lake. Because most people will never get to get half this wine. One of the best cab Bronx. Casey had it tonight. It, he looked at me and said, yeah. yeah. Okay. The, there's no option. So this is a Cabernet Franc. A lot of people don't drink it because they are unfamiliar with it or they don't know about it. It is one of the softest, most beautiful, amazing wines. The depth Luck on the palate is so <laughs> And luckily for us, we're getting a good price on it so we can make it happen for this dinner. Also, Casey's going to make something that I have requested because I think he does such a beautiful job on it. He's only made it once for a private dinner and I was so impressed with it and that's the only time I've seen him do it. I also made it for my sous chef as, as I lost some past <laughs> because he and requested it also. That's why I think he should do it for this because it will give this wine so much prestige and dignity and everything that it deserves. It's going to be incredible. So what are you going to make? I'm going to be doing the beef wellington, which is not an easy dish to make and do successfully. I mean, the beef wellington is such a big, obviously, tenderloin um, going against this wine. But the thing that made me decide to do this dish is the Bordeaux cherry demi-glace, which pairs so well with this wine. It is deep. It is we actually tried it side by side with it. Yeah, I had them pull it out so we could try it side by side. My goodness gracious, it is the, it is, it is one of the best pairings I've ever had in my life. So, and, uh, a 
along with the people and entertainment that people. Pastry and yeah. the, uh, it, 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 it's gonna be great. So, normally. And no dessert, but we're gonna do a little scoop of our dairy free. Dairy free and gluten free. Chocolate peanut butter ice, ice cream. cream. Yeah. Which will be a, a great finish. Yeah. Most of the time, people imbibe a little bit too much to the point that the dessert yeah. doesn't mean too much. So, you've noticed during our Reno Vinos, yeah. we don't serve desserts. Well, and honestly, because our Reno Vino guests have said, like, we just don't care. Like, we're, yeah. we would rather have four courses of, like, all your delicious food, you know? And people want a bite of chocolate rather than um, a full dessert, and they can take one bite. But, so we're gonna do one little ball of this beautiful ice cream that we get locally. It's incredible. And, and, it, and it's good for all uh, All allergies. people, yeah. And it's, if, if you have any, uh, yeah. any allergy, most of the time you're gonna be fine. Yeah. Um, but, so this is going in November 19th. November 19th, 6 p.m. It's a Saturday. So for most people, you know that our, our dinners are on a Saturday in the spring and winter fall. Um, this one's in November because our December is really booked up with holiday parties and weddings. Yep. So that's why it's November 19th before Thanksgiving. Thank you for all of our winter weddings and holiday parties. We love you guys too. Um, but yeah, so November 19th, 6 p.m. And yeah. we'll be putting it on mblodge.com. We will also be putting it on our Facebook page. We'll be sending an email to everyone. It will be 149 for courses, plus intermezzo, plus dessert, with all these amazing wines and dinners. It's gonna be such a great time. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. Um, you will not be disappointed if you come to this event. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited for the food myself. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, Casey and I, every, every event we do, we're always like, everyone's like, okay, what, what do we do next time? Because we're so impressed with ourselves from the last time. Man, we, we, we push it every single time. Yeah. I, I get, I get, we, we get pushed to the limits, and it's, it's always the greatest thing. For our creativity yeah. and uh, the, the, the fun that we have, it, it, yeah. it's, it's too much every time. So uh, visit ManhattanBeachLodge.com. Go check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and we'll see you soon, you guys. Cheers. Cheers. Love you, long time. Potato. <laughs> <laughs>